Now, there are hundreds of different genes that go together to form a human face. And in some cases of cleft lip and palate, you can point at a particular gene and say it's that one. But not in the case of little Oliver. He came as a complete surprise, and there is absolutely no family history, which would suggest that his cleft lip is the result of a random genetic mutation. Felicity Mahendele is preparing to operate on his lip. Cleft lips and cleft palates are actually the most common congenital condition that we see. So they give us a huge amount of information about how our human faces form. I think it's so easy to look at a human face and take for granted that that's the way it always was. But to think that my eyes started out here my nose started up there, my top lip was in three separate bits, and I had a one in a thousand chance that a bit of my top lip wouldn't have zipped up. Oliver is now three months old and strong enough for surgery. How are you feeling about today? OK, nervous. He's happy, dude. He's happy. Totally oblivious to what's going to happen. <laughs> so he was asleep after the surgery for a fair bit till about tea time. And when he woke up and was able he to sort of recognise us and all that, he did his usual thing, mm -hmm. smiling straight away. Which was amazing. It was. So there's hardly anything there already. It's, it's the craft of, yeah, what, what, what you can yeah. do. 